The main purpose of this symposium is to connect satellite observation to the, what the World Climate Research Programme calls the grand challenges, not only to understand climate change, but also to create the foundation for what is called climate services. The role of the satellites is, is enormous because the climate problem is a global one and the only system that we have to observe uh, the Earth, the planet and the oceans globally is from space. The local weather makes the tremendous impact on our life, like extremes, flooding, thunderstorms, hurricanes. The satellites we were operating uh, 30 years ago or 20 years ago were not designed for climate. So there are big challenges in terms of what we do to reprocess the data. And we have a global system in place where all the satellite operators work together to put the different measurements on the same map. So it was a good time for UMESA to host this conference because this year we were chairing the Committee on Earth Observation Satellites, so the CEOs. And so during this year, as you said, the scientists will be driving, but the space agencies will be in the room listening to the challenges of the scientists. We'll have all the big agencies present in the room, both the more operational agencies like UMESAT, but also all the big research and development agencies like ESA or NASA or a friend from uh, JAXA in Japan. And I think that all together we will listen to the scientists and we will feed their input into what you call the the global architecture for climate monitoring from space. On Friday morning, when all the space agencies will sit on a panel, they have the opportunity to respond to what was said throughout the week. It's very important because we have a global challenge, which is climate, and we need a global response, which means global science, but also all the players from the space agencies involved in this dialogue with the scientists, and this is what the symposium is about. Mm -hmm.